And how would you like me to address you? I guess Gaga or Lady. It's lady it is. Lady it is. <laughs> lady Gaga is quite official. Lady it is, yes. It feels official. Uh, Mr. Becco. Yes, please. <laughs> David's okay. more than fine. D David, okay, yeah. good. Should I shuffle them? <laughs> Maybe. It's more interesting. Quite a few. Okay. Who is your young age idol? I'd have to say my parents. Hard working, yeah. working class. You know, my, my mum is 70 years old, still a hairdresser in London. My father was a, was a gas engineer. Who was your idol growing up? My grandmothers. At the darkest, hardest times in my life, I always had my grandmothers there to say, stop that crying. I'll let you cry for today. Really? And then tomorrow you're going to wake up and no more tears. And you're going to keep going. Okay, so what's next for you? You know, I always like to let creativity come my way in the form of inspiration. I find that it, it comes to me like, um, like a whisper of passion. Mm -hmm. So what's next for me, uh, I don't quite know yet. But I guess what I am sure of is what's next for me is there will be a burst of inspiration and when it comes, I will grab it. Okay. Blackjack. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I keep forgetting how to play the game. The most daring moment of your life. You know, obviously with Tudor, I've, I've just done a free diving trip and yeah. I did a snowboarding trip. So those were pretty daring, but I would have to say moving clubs, you know, going from Manchester in England to Madrid in Spain. Yeah. You know, different culture, different places, different cities, different yeah. teams, another language, a language yeah. that I didn't speak. It's a total change. And then moving from Madrid to the US, yeah. that, was, that was daring for me professionally. But wow. whenever anyone turned around to me and said, don't do something, Oh, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Oh, it yeah. doesn't, you know, it yeah. doesn't matter what, you know, whether it's my best friend, if I feel that it's the right thing to do, yeah. I'm going to do it no yeah. matter what. Yeah. To me, the most daring moments in my life have been when I did not give up. Okay. Where there's something in me that's going like, you don't have it in you, you can't do it, you're done. Uh, lots of self-doubt and having that other voice of you've got this be stronger than all the others. And you just gotta use it and shout it and yell it and have it be louder than everything else. But your styles affect like culture, you know, in such an iconic way. How does it feel to affect so many people's lives? I always have said that I, I don't feel like God put me on this earth to be loved by the world. I believe that God put me on this earth for me to help people love themselves more. Mm. and. I want to do that in everything that I do. You know, being successful in our areas, being able to um, have a voice and make good use of that. We are very lucky. Well, high five for that, yeah. yeah. <laughs>